Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 7 with our series. Take a look at this. 1,350 population. We've got three culture points to spend. We'll go ahead and drop one of those now. That's pretty nice. A little bit closer there to victory. Plus the two other culture, culture points puts us at 30%, so that's not bad. We've got 550 million credits. So we're ready to start doing some stuff here, spending a little bit of these credits on some uh, changes. Now, currently, you can see I've turned the cooling plant off. We actually got a little bit lower than we should have, so we're going to have to tweak that. No big deal. Meanwhile, the pressure is still comfortably where it's at. Oxygen is about halfway there, so we've almost got an oxygen-rich atmosphere. And water... Uh, we've got a little bit frozen in ice because of what we did with the temperature. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head to research here. And we're going to want to get ourselves the heating cluster. And that's going to be what helps us get the planet's temperature up. Now we've got temp here and I think I did build... Yes, yeah, so we've got one cooling plant here. Okay, and I deleted the other cooling plant here, which is what I wanted to do. So for pressure, we would want to get the sequestration plant at some point. I thought I researched that. Maybe I did not. What did I research? You got the oxygen plant, cyanovats. Okay. So we could put cyanovats up for oxygen. I think that was the big thing that I had picked up. And I know we were trying to get towards the spaceport as well. Do we have a Sinovat? No, we probably don't need one at this point. I bet we could just upgrade these to continue our expansion of oxygen. So then this thermal dust can be demolished and now Founders is just exactly that, just our Founders colony. Eventually I'll put the spaceport there and I will probably put uh, hab domes there before I put them anyplace else. As for here, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, thermal dust here and we'll go ahead and hurry that. So we have it, but we're going to disable it. Um, do I want to upgrade it? I don't think so. I think we'll just leave it like that, but now we've got it. All right, let's go ahead and, and hurry this. And we need the sequestration plant. We're probably going to need the O2 filter. And I know we're going to need stuff for water, but that can come later. And the Hab Dome's a definite. That's actually going to get us oxygen and water. So what we're actually going to need is the def is the O2 filter. And I'm going to rush that too. So I got some Genesis points to spend from watching ads. And now let's go for the Hab Dome. And then we can start setting ourselves up for success by building Hab Domes. Now I'm going to go into Oxygen. Okay. And then I'm going to jump. Let's see. Go into Temp. We got to get the temperature back up. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a Heating Cluster. Uh... Don't want two of them. Next facility, I pop 250 or spend two Genesis points now. So you can spend Genesis points to open up facility space. I don't think I want to do that. I don't have to do that now. But eventually, I'm going to have to build a Hab Dome in all of these colonies so I can increase the facility space in general. These Hab units will get destroyed. I might just delete some of these. But I'll do that after I build some of the Hab Domes and Founders so this can expand. So a lot of this doesn't happen to uh, have to happen just yet. And let's see. Oh, we got to get uh, money, um, income coming back in too. For when's the next culture point? 2,500 pops. So they might have changed that. They might have lowered that some. It seems like it's easier to get culture points because that'll put us at 35%, and that's not bad. So one Hab Dome, I feel like, will get us almost to 50%. Okay. 
Sorry, I had to take a swig of water there. I was dying of thirst. All right, let's uh, get these up and running. How are we doing for money right now? Even without any mines running, we did pretty good on some random events here, so we still got almost 40,000 coming in. The mines will just make that a million times better. So let's go ahead and examine this one. I don't think there was anything else here worth mining, so we're going to destroy that. I think this one here had some palladium deposits that were pretty nice. You have to pay to destroy these mines. No big deal. They're very cheap. Thousand. Oop. Four thousand, most expensive. All right. So yeah, rhodium was there. Was the rhodium here? Not really. One of these though, I thought had a pretty high palladium. That's not bad. I think that's the one we mined earlier. I thought there was another one. But I couldn't access it because it was near another mine. Ooh. That's pretty good. All right, so that's almost 8,000 there if we go down to silver. Uh, there's no silver that really stands out to me. It's about as good as it gets. We'll throw it down though because we got a lot of credits and we could use a lot more for when we start building hab domes and stuff. Um, next one, Valencia, uh, Valencia here. It looks like I had Palladium already here. Thought I had one Rhodium mine up. I think it was here. I think I only put it up to show how much money Rhodium can make, even with a small deposit of it. All right, I think I'm gonna ditch. I think I'm gonna ditch this place as well and build another one. Two millions worth spending, and then getting the money for the mines if it ends up getting us a bunch of stuff. So let's go for this one. Start with rhodium. We've got uh, ice sheet here. Ooh, oh yeah, hit the jackpot. That's perfect. How much do we get for that? 6,700, that's nuts. That was great. I'd hoping we, I'd hoping we finally get something like that. Nice. There might be some palladium here too. Then. It always seems like wherever there's rhodium, there's always a fairly decent concentration of palladium. I don't know if that's intentional or not. There's some here, but I'm concerned if this turns into water, we'll be in trouble. But. Just go for it. Worst case scenario gets flooded out. This has been uh, pretty good. This outpost is going to be a huge money maker for us. Usually I don't go below silver at this state in the game, but I might make an exception. Damn, that's pretty good too. What the heck? A 
I lost it. There it is. Wow, this bad boy is making us uh, almost 13,000. Alright, I just wanted to see. I don't normally do iron and carbon anymore. You make so much money off the other mines, it's almost not worth it to spend the 400,000 for it. All right, and I think we'll just do the two. I had three last time, but yeah, we'll just stick with the two because they're generating some good money. 62,000, so we're going to have a ton of money when I come back. Probably be pushing probably close to a trillion, so that won't be too bad, actually. That's kind of where we needed to be. I'm, s I'm sorry, not a trillion, a... Uh, is it a billion here? I can't see. Yeah, yeah, a billion. I just need, I just wanted to see, was it a billion or a trillion I needed to win? Where can I see that culture, I think? Oh, uh, no, I, I only needed a billion, okay. So yeah, that won't be too bad. It'll be fairly easy. Nice. What are we researching again? I already forgot. That's right. The hab domes. That's going to be critical. That means next episode is going to be pretty important because we'll be using the hab domes. We'll start building all of those and replacing everything else. But to build the hab domes, like I said in the past, hab domes are going to produce 10 oxygen and 20 water and we're going to have to offset that. I'm already going, or let's see, I've already gotten the O2 filter, so that's going to offset a lot of it. But I also will need to build geocisterns as well to stop the water. Or I find another solution, which I've done in the past. Go electrosis plant, minus 40 water, that's two habs, hab domes plus 10 oxygen and then I build the carbon fixer for those but that'd be 40 pressure and then bio fixture lab get rid of the 40 pressure 10 oxygen 102 filter upgraded would cancel that out or carbon fixer let's see or the short route would be just to use the thermal dust or I'm sorry, the sequestration plant to cancel out the 10 pressure on here, minus 40 oxygen. So 40 oxygen would get us two hab domes, I believe. No, four hab domes, so it's just about the water. And the best way to handle 20, so four hab domes would be 20, 40, 60, that'd be 80 water. You'd have to build two of the electrosis plants. So that'd be 20 oxygen. So that'd be 40 oxygen total. I don't know. We're gonna I'll have to play with it a bit. I might write it down. Or you do the ice launcher. Minus 120 water would be four of them. Or no, that'd be six of them. Hmm. A major metanational corporation offered to invest 16 million in your efforts at settling McGrill. That being said, if you accept their investment, they will expect to be given expanding rights on McGrill, signifying a 10% reduction in the independence movement. Would you like to accept their offer? Refuse. I definitely don't need that money. All right, so we'll kind of re revisit the Habdome thing in the next episode when it becomes a little bit more important, but hopefully we'll have temperature back up and rising next episode. Be able to build the Habdomes and uh, oxygen should be a little better off. And then we'll be able to hopefully get pressure back down as well. When I get the sequestration plan up, that'll be pretty nice. With that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me for this one. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.